Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. Happy Friday the 13th. I don't know about a happy Friday the 13th, but okay. But now, the weather with Mo. The warmth continues as right now, we're still at 64. Also, as you couldn't see, the sun has granted us temporary blindness and impossible to see screens. We'll get up to 69 with clouds gradually overcoming the sun's mighty wrath. Thunderstorms will court us in the night while we drop to 59. We'll be back with more news right after a short word from our sponsor. Business is booming in the bookstore. So good, that's good. So there's a flash sale that will drive you bananas. I want you to do something about that. Wow, shirts for $5 and hoodies for $15. Wow, that's a good deal. And that black thing is 50 cents. Wow, colored pencils, $2. Wow, that's, that's a good deal. Oh, and erasers, $8.50. Wow, that's 50 cents for that glue stick. Nice, man. $1.75 for that sketch, sketch paper. This sale will drive you bananas, so go, please, take advantage of that. Well, the Clinton County College and Career Fair is scheduled for Wednesday, April 18th at the fairgrounds from 5.30 to 7. This is our first year we've been able to offer the opportunity for you not only to speak with college representatives, but also with employers and in skill trades. This is fair for all students, grades 9 through 12. Whether you are college or workforce done, please stop by and learn about the opportunities available to you after high school. It is never too early to learn more and explore about options for your futures. These colleges will be in attendance. Franklin College, Trine University, St. Mary's College, Notre Dame, Indiana, yeah, Indiana, St. Mary's of the Woods. Congratulations to following students, first place recipients in the Xi Iota Xi Clinton County Art Show. Uh, first place winners, Adalas Campos in Acrylics, Noah Wilder in Airbrush, Janessa Cervantes in Altered Photography, Kendall Weber in Assembled Sculpture, Elise Thomas in Chalk Pastel, Josue Bautista in Colored Pencil, Tyra Collins in Computer Art, Senna Nisa Adinley in Graphic Design, Eric Longoria in Ink, Sydney Caesar in Mixed Media, Haley Wills in Pencil, Waylon Mitchell in Photography, and other award winners, Leo Hernandez, Antonio Hernandez, Alexis Williams, Riley Gresham, Itzel Lopez, Christina Esquillo, Noel Mora, Maddie Jarbo, Lucy Calvert, Katie Rhoda. Overall, Frankfurt High School received 33 out of the 54 awards given. The opening reception will be Monday, April 16th from 6.30 to 7 p.m. The Purdue Aviation Day is this Saturday at Purdue University Airport from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visit the Army booth to see the Black Hawk on display. They will, they, will be also, they will also be giving away free stuff. Just don't expect any Apache helicopters or tanks. Now time for sports with my man Riley. Th thanks, Ricky. Uh, the varsity baseball team completed the sweep of number four ranked Danville last night with a six to three win. Casey Henry earned the win, pitching five innings and giving up zero runs. Jose Valdez Sandoval, uh, Sandoval earned the save in relief. The team is now 3-1 overall and 2-0 in conference play. JB lost in their game against Danville 14-4 despite much offensive improvement. Frankfurt Hot Dog uh, Varsity Softball fell behind early and couldn't come back in a 20-8 loss to Danville on Thursday. Despite the troubles on defense, the Lady Hot Dogs collected 13 hits in the high scoring of pair. The hot dogs will be in action on Saturday at the Clinton Prairie Classic with first game at 9 a.m. Today, the track teams go to the Charger Relays and yours truly will be part of it. The, being the Charger Relays, this meet is at North Montgomery. Be there to support us. Baseball plays against Carroll here at home tonight. Now to Ivan for Weekend War Dogs. 
I do not know if you can see this, but we found a classroom watching our announcements. Wow, this is probably our first view. So excited. Let's go in. Hey, y'all. Can we come in? All right, we look, look at this. Look at this. This is our like first viewers. So what are you doing over the weekend? Uh, nothing. Nothing. That's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we have captured here Dallas uh, practicing for strides for Stacy. All right, here we go. All right. Did we doing? win Publishers Clearinghouse? No, we're doing Weekend War Dogs. All right, what are you doing over the weekend? I am having my friends over for a dinner party. We're just going to, we have lazy Sunday dinner. Wow, what is that? You just, or you're lazy and you bring food and you eat together. All right, hopefully you come this Monday, next Monday. Oh. All right, we have this little group in the corner. All right, what are you guys doing over the weekend? We got here uh, Jeremy. Right, Jeremy? Uh, yes, I'm probably going to a friend's house for the weekend, so. What are you doing over the weekend? Probably just going to play some Fortnite. Fortnite, so no plans with him? Let's guess first period. Have you guys watched the announcements? To today? Mm hmm Oh, no. All right, why don't we record that with you putting the announcements? Let's record that. Let's. Okay, I, yeah, I play them go. every day, though. Hold yeah, on, Miss, Miss, Mr. Sully, I play the announcements every morning, don't I? Yes, We the school paid a lot of money, so I'm really mad when teachers don't watch. Do we have time? All right, bye, Miss Gas. Remember that prop tickets are on sale starting today for $20, and next Friday will go up to their original price. So, Ricky, what are you doing this weekend? I don't know. Maybe go to the movies and probably get some Fortnite games in. So, what are you doing over the weekend? Probably play Fortnite anyway. Well, Fortnite. Anyways, here to talk about her uh, hot dog experience is Jessica Carapia. Good morning. Um, I play Sage for like two years, but I was supposed to get ready. Really red. <laughs> okay, my name is Jessica Carapia. I plan to go to college at USI um, down south and focus on nursing. Thanks to the scholarships I have um, received so far, I've covered for five years. As long as I keep up with the requirements that the scholarships are asking for. During those five years, I plan on working still and saving up more money in case I want to add more additional years to college to hopefully move on to becoming something more than a nurse. I aspire to be a pediatrician, so hopefully I can achieve that. Um, my best memory so far would probably be all four years of soccer, because they've just been like inspiring, amazing, motivating, just keep me going, education too. Um, I want to thank Ms. McGuire for always being there for me and having the best advice when I need it, and just being my emotional support sometimes. I just need a friend, and she's always been that for me. Um, I want to thank Ms. Johnson, my counselor, for always having answers to my questions, um, even when they're difficult to answer. You always have something to say, and you're really motivating, and sometimes I also need that support from you, and you're always there, so thank you. Um, Mr. Butler, thank you for always accepting me into your classroom, and I know I've been going through some rough things, and you're always there having the best advice to give me, and motivating me, motivating me to keep going. Ms. Boozer, thank you for always going out of your way to make sure our community is doing well academically and emotionally. You're the best. <laughs> um, Mr. Field and Mr. Hines, thank you for the best years of soccer and for teaching me how to be a better team player. Ms. Johnson, because of Crash, I am a better leader, so thank you. Um, Mr. Taylor, lastly, thank you, Mr. Taylor, for believing in me and my talents and motivating me to be a part of the broadcast this year. I wish I would have done it in the past. This has been a... Dude, what the... I didn't even fell on you. Production.